To perform this work, you're going to need to begin by safely raising and supporting the rear of the vehicle, along with removing the rear brake disc. For additional assistance with those tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Also, you're going to be working around springs here, so as always, you should be wearing your safety glasses. Begin by adjusting the small cog assembly to take all the tension you can off it. Then use a large screwdriver to push it out from between the two parking brake shoes. With some effort, the cog assembly should pop out, leaving some slack between the two parking brake shoes. If you don't have a brake spring tool, then use a pair of pliers, grab and unhook the parking brake spring from the brake shoes. Be careful of the spring as it's under a lot of tension at this point. Also undo the small spring retainer, indicated by the arrow, that secures the brake shoe to the rear trailing arm. Use a pair of vice grips and a pair of needle nose pliers to twist the spring and unlatch it from the assembly. You'll find this difficult to do. If you want to save yourself some trouble, buy the proper tool. Next, remove the lower conical spring and the expanding butterfly clips. The final assembly with the new brake shoes is shown here. Be very careful when installing the new shoes as the retaining springs have a tendency to snap out of place and fly out. Make sure you keep your hands out of the way and use safety glasses at all times. Now you will need to adjust the parking brake. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.